to my beauties and cuties. My name is Annette and I've been building out my Ram Pro Master 1500 Miss Dita Van Teef since January of 2022. After all that hard work, time finally pays off. I am now going to be camping with friends in Joshua Tree. Follow along. Lunch with a view. It's all about that van life. So I've just arrived. The cliche van life shower day. Planet Fitness. Time to get the shower on. like this before it's like a limousine truck crazy it feels like a dream like I worked so hard and it it was a nightmare and now I feel like I'm waking up from a nightmare that's a, what is happening on this trip I'm coming out of that nightmare that I was in so I've just stayed my third night in the van and this bed is so comfortable. I'm so happy with how this bed turned out. Sleeping pretty good. And I'm sure you hear that in the background. I have a heater that Patty let me borrow. It was an electric heater. I was on the on a mission. I should have just bought a Mr. Buddy heater when I saw it at the hardware store like a day before I left and I did not buy it. So I will be investing in a Mr. Buddy heater for nights when I stay at a cold place like the desert in the winter time. But it actually was not very bad last night and not too bad this morning. Um, but just to be comfortable, I turned the heater on and it's warm, warming up really nice in here. Yesterday, basically yesterday was, we did some work, or Johnny did some work on the van. She did some plumbing work yesterday morning. And then we ended up we were going to Home Depot to get some pieces that I had no clue of what all we needed. The Planet Fitness and I did a day pass. So if you're on a trip and you don't have a membership and you've never gone to a Planet Fitness, you can do a day pass, which gives you 24 hours. So if you plan it right, you could get two showers in um, if you go within the 24 hours. So if like you go at three o'clock, the first day just go before three the next day but you could do that so that's what I did yesterday is I went to Planet Fitness and I did a day pass to get a shower in and then went to Home Depot they did not have a heater and then had dinner with Johnny and Patty we went to Andy's number four then I went back to Home Depot and then went to Walmart because Walmart said that they had these the Mr. Buddy heaters which I could have just gotten one of these electric heaters. I didn't even think about that. They had plenty of those, but I didn't grab one of those. Um, anyway, I came back here. So I left here at like 1.30 after having lunch. By the time I got back, it was 8.30. And we were on the mission to look for water. Well, they were. So they were so sweet. They found water at Love's. So we were able to test my water today once we get that done. So, I am not going to use up any more of my power. I'm going to start getting up. It's pretty warm in here. I'm going to turn that heater off. I'm going to get up and organize, make up the bed, and get ready to do this plumbing today. Yeah, I will get to you in a little bit. Bye. So, here is the space heater. So, it's really warming it up real nice in here. But without that last night, I actually had look this one was already off this morning and then I had those off so some of the night I was just in like a couple of the blankets and that's without the heater so it was not that bad last night so I used that heater again this morning it worked a couple of days ago and maybe I ran it a little longer than I did the other day but the only thing I had on was the heater and the refrigerator 
and the heater turned off and I thought it was just an auto turn off. This is my fourth day. I had three nights, four nights, I think. So I'm still my first trip. Anyway, I thought the heater turned off for power. And then when I went and got soda out of the refrigerator, there was no refrigerator light. So I looked at the inverter and there's no, no light on. And then I opened it up and the no power to the inverter. So yay, I'm out in the desert. I have a refrigerator full of food and no power to my AC. My DC works, but I turned my power off so I'm not getting solar <laughs> to charge the batteries and I'm at 30%. So whoop whoop, van life. So the inverter stopped working. What I did is I powered it off. I thought it was a fuse maybe, but that wouldn't have turned the inverter off. So I'm gonna power it back on. I already turned off the solar on okay oh okay well my dc's back let me turn this thing on no power <gasps> maybe there's a switch maybe a maybe there's an on off switch It is not working. I'm gonna check all the cables. The fuse was blown. That's the problem. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna key and get a um. So this is where I drive at. are the 33 Barrett organs that was designed by Leonardo da Vinci. While one set was said to be fired, the other would be cooling and the third set would be loaded. So this system allowed rapid fire with no interruptions. It's a next design is the scythe chariot. So Leonardo's first sketch for the Scythe's chariot involved the use of four large scythes, which were mounted similar to the way helicopter blades are mounted. So this machine would slice the limbs from its victims, leaving them bleeding and helpless. Leonardo was a peaceful man who despised war, but this was his design. With Leonardo's catapult design, a man would climb the ladder attached, place a stone in the cup, and then a flexible arm was bent back using the rope. This was released by striking a pin, and the procedure repeated. General Patton Memorial Museum is where we stay behind. Yep. So I'll show you the military vehicles and the Wall of Remembrance too.
Where do I carry it? First time in tea in the gray water. Stopped in the shady little area right down the street off the 210. We can have a little lunch and then jump back on the road. Ooh. Kids be running around the schoolyard. Parents running to the jobs, but I won't see them running anymore because I'll be gone. As is reported ahead on I-5 North So I have about four more hours and I will be home and then planning my next trip or finishing up. So thank you so much for watching and check back next time for more of my adventures.